Good evening, Karina Cavallo with ABC News. Both major parties have announced they'll support a conscience vote on decriminalising abortion in Queensland. Key independent crossbench MP Rob Pine introduced the legislation on the first sitting day of the New Look opposition front bench. The estate political reporter George Roberts. They say manners maketh man. I want to congratulate the Leader of the Opposition uh, on his appointment. But they don't last long in politics. Whilst I want to thank the member for Sandgate for his warm welcome to the position of Leader of the Opposition. He's been practising that speech for a long time. Day one and Tim Nichols is relishing his new role. There is one thing I know and that is they those over there won't be looking at the member for Sandgate for any leadership positions anytime soon. The government's granted his predecessor one last wish, the prestigious chairmanship of Parliament's Crime and Corruption Committee but its attention quickly turned to the new opponent. We only have to go to um, our well-known friends book here, the Can Do book. Reminding voters of Mr Nicholls' former role as Treasurer under Campbell Newman. There is the Premier's reading challenge at the moment, Mr Speaker, <laughs> that I launched just last week. Have a read of it. It talks about the raise again. So when he was the Treasurer, he absolutely took the knife to education. It's the state of the state now that the opposition's concerned with. We are second last, second last in terms of economic growth amongst the states. Now this treasurer would argue that's pretty good. We're not as bad as Tasmania. The change of leader on the opposition benches has injected a change of pace in the chamber. But when the hot air of question time cooled, the House did get down to more serious business, including the government's law to make medical marijuana more available. There is a growing body of evidence that demonstrates the possible therapeutic benefits of medicinal cannabis. More controversial is Rob Pine's bill to decriminalise abortion. These provisions are archaic, outdated and have no place in a modern liberal democracy. Tim Nichols has announced that opposition MPs can vote with their conscience, but the LNP still officially opposes a change. It's about time our laws reflect the modern values that trust and empower women to make decisions about their own bodies. It will be months before any final draft is ready for a vote. George Roberts, ABC News, Brisbane.